Hello, today I show you how to use Street Art Photoshop action and here is some of the results that you can make with this action. Ok, and firstly some recommendation for optimal use of action. Use a good quality pictures. I recommend using a photo with a resolution between 2000 and 5000 pixels on one axis for best effect. So if you have the photo with too small or too big resolution, just open the photo, then go to the image, image size and change width or height value. Ok. And before your section, you need to do the steps. First step, make sure that you use the English version of Photoshop. And if you use version with another language, watch the video how to change language. The link under this video. Second step, go to image, mod and check the HB color and 8 bits channel. And last step, just for CS5 and highest versions, click on menu icon at the right, select panel options. And check the add copy to copy less and groups. Okay, that's all. Now, how to use action. First, open your photo, and one more important thing: your photo need to have the background view. So, if your photo have this view, just select the photo, then go to the layer, view, and select background from layer. Now it's okay. Okay, the next step: uh, open brushes file, for that go to the edit, press it, press it manager, in press it type select brushes, click load, go to the load folder and make double click on street art brushes file. Click done. Next step open the patterns file, for that go to the edit, press it, press it manager, but now in press it type select patterns, click load, Go to the load folder again and make double click on street art patterns file. Click done. And the last step, uh, open the action. For that go to the window, actions. Click on menu icon at the right. Select load actions. Go to the load folder last time and make double click on street art Photoshop action file. Ok, the next step, create a new layer and name it area and please don't use the caps lock. Now paint on this layer the area that you need to focus. Uh, for that you can use brush tool, you can use a quick selection tool, magic wand tool and you can use uh, one of less tools. For this image I am gonna use a quick selection tool. Okay, you can use any color.
it's done. Okay, when you paint the area, uh, find action on the action panel. If you close it, actions panel, uh, go to the window, actions, open the folder with action, open the action and select the action. Okay, and then click play. But before you click play, please make sure uh, that the opacity and flow of brush tool is 100%. Okay, click play. Wait a few minutes that Photoshop make all actions and speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. I'm a little scroll on this step. Okay, when action finished work, you can change the final composition. And now I show you how to make this. In final composition, we have uh, six folders. It's background elements, 11 graffiti tags, uh, your object elements, five fold styles, 10 color effects, and color and contrast settings of all image. Okay, let's start from background elements. In this folder, you can little change the back color. And also this folder contains black and white paint texture. You can change the opacity of this layer. Also this folder contains uh, grunge paints. It's uh, two layers with garage paint bag. And also you can change the hue and saturation of this layers. And you can add the color to this layers. Okay, and also this uh, background elements folder contains the color and contrast settings of all background folder. In this folder you can add the color tone to background. You can change the color of this layer. And you can change the hue and saturation of background. Also you can add the gradient to background. Of course, you can change the uh, angle of this gradient, you can scale this gradient, and you can change the colors of this gradient. If you want to change the color, uh, just click on gradient, make double click on the color, and change the color. Okay, and also you can change the brightness and contrast of background. Uh, the next folder, it's uh, 11 graffiti tags. Let's show some of tags. You can scale, uh, move and rotate this text. If you want to scale or rotate uh, some of text, uh, just use Ctrl plus T combination and scale and rotate this layer. Also, you can change the color of this text.
Okay, that's done. The next folder, it's uh, your object elements folder. Uh, this folder contains two folders. It's uh, color and contour settings of your object and colors and less folder. Uh, the colors and layers folder. It's very important uh, folder for you. Uh, this folder contains uh, all layers of your object. If you can see, you can change uh, the colors of many layers. Uh, let's change uh, some colors. You can change the color of silhouette lines. You can change the color of grudge shadows. Also, this uh, folder contains small details layer. Uh, you can change the color of light on object. The color of dark shadows on object. This folder contains light layer. Also, you can change the color of silhouette lines too. You can change the color of silhouette or lines. color of object lines. And also you can change the hue and saturation of object street art texture. And also this folder contains uh, two Layers uh, with uh, street art texture. So, if you want to move uh, this street art texture, just make double click on patterns overlay and move this layer. Okay, same with the second layer. And also you can change the color of blurred paint area. And this folder contains the area, black and white paint uh, layer. And the last uh, layer in this folder, it's a uh, layer with shadow. Uh, it's a smart layer, so you can change the level of Gaussian blue. If you want to change the level of Gaussian blue, just make double click on Gaussian blue and uh, just move the slider. Also, you can move this shadow. And you can change the color of this shadow. And one more important thing, if you want to erase uh, some of space of some of layers, uh, just select the layer mask. Maybe you want to erase some of space of silhouette lines 3. Layer, just select the layer mask, select brush tool, select uh, the black color and paint where you want to erase. If you want to make visible, just select white color and paint again. 
So you need to paint only on layer mask. Okay, and also this folder contains color and contour settings of uh, your object folder. Uh, in this folder you can add the gradient to object area. You can change the colors of gradient. You can move the gradient, change the angle, scale. Also you can add the color tone your object area you can change the hue and saturation of object area and you can change the brightness and contrast of object area okay the next folder it's uh, five wall styles folder it's uh, first wall style brown bricks wall. Looks very realistic. Uh, the next style it's uh, concrete wall with cracks. Also, if you make double click on patterns overlay, you can move the wall texture. The next uh, style it's concrete wall. This style contains uh, three layers with damages. You can move, scale, rotate these damages. It's very easy. The next style white bricks wall with cracks. In this style you can change the color of the cracks. And the last style it's white bricks wall texture. Okay, I like concrete wall with cracks. And the next folder it's 10 color FX. Let's use color 9. And the last folder, it's color and contour settings of all image. In this folder, you can add the original colors to your object. You can erase some space of this layer if you want. Just select the layer mask, select brush tool, black color, and paint where you want to erase. If you want to make visible, paint with white color. Okay. You can change the opacity of this layer. Also, you can add the gradient to all image. You can change the hue and saturation of all image. You can make black and white image. Also, you can add the photo filter to all image. If you want to change the photo filter, just make double click on layer icon, select the photo filter, what you need. Of course, you can change the density of this effect. Also, you can add the color tone to your object. You can change the brightness and colors, and this uh, folder contains shadow frame layer. So, it's ready, just save. Thanks for watching and good luck!